Hey everyone, I've missed you. It's been a while. Uh, I have blue hair now, um, so that's a thing. I wanted to catch you up a little bit on what's been going on in my world. As many of you know, I teach Wardley Mapping, and I also have been in the process of writing something for a year and a half. And it came out a couple months ago. It's called Strategy Tactics. And Strategy Tactics is a deck of cards, but it's not just any deck of cards. It's an attempt at proposing a new way to think about strategy from the worlds of both Wardley mapping, which you probably know a bit about, and transition design. So some of you may or may not know, but I've spent a lot of time with Joshua Bloom. Many of you know him as a Jabe. And he has very generously taught me so much about transition design and what it means to think about futures and make them present. And of course, since I've spent a lot of time with Wardley mapping, and actually um, I wrote this deck not alone, but with a co-author. So my co-author's name is David Hall. And before we wrote the deck, David and I spent a lot of time delivering Wardley related experiences. Like we did some multi-week programs for companies. We did some one-off workshops, that sort of thing. And that was our partnership before we started writing the deck. So we, we wrote this deck together from Wardley mapping and transition design. And when you open it up inside, you have a nice pack of cards like this, right? And each of the pip decks which is the publisher for this uh, deck has something called a strategy system and the strategy system is basically a step-by-step -step question and answer do you have the answer to this question if no then you need to look at this category of card and then it keeps going through the questions until you walk through an entire process so we have seven different card categories we have purpose which is about why you're doing what you're doing. We have identify, which is about being able to understand the, the, the parts of the system that you're a part of, building a common language, things like that. So learning to see those parts. Then can you connect things together? That's the third category is connect. You'll see cards like value chains and things like that in the connect. It's about the in-betweens. The next category is evolve, which is about Wardley's evolution. Uh, so how things evolve with the market over time. The next three categories are really interesting. It's adapt, plays, and lead. So evolve kind of tells you where the market's going or helps you place different parts that you've identified in terms of the market. Adapt is about getting yourself right. So I think a lot of times with strategy, there's this focus on making plays and changing the world and all this. And I wanted to emphasize adaptation to the way the world already is so that you can get yourself into a position where you can start taking bigger swings at changing the world you have to first acknowledge the way that the world is so adapt is all about that and i think that's a really helpful frame something that doesn't get emphasized enough so a lot of wardley's doctrine ends up in adapt uh, along with a couple other things that we added and then the, the category that's next is plays. This is where you're more intervening. You're actually making changes in the world. So my favorite Wardley plays are in there. Some that maybe don't get as enough attention as they should. Things like bundling and building alliances and non-intervention, things like that are in there. I think it's a really interesting thing to explore and play with. And then there's lead. So lead is all about developing this philosophy of facilitative leadership. So we often resolve issues by authority, right? Whoever's got the most power in the room, they get to make the decisions. We use hierarchy to, to find the person who can resolve the conflict, let's say. In our version of this, it looks more like how to set the scene, how to set the stage for people to come together and work on something. And you're not always gonna have easy answers, but it's a more facilitative approach to leadership. And we include some things from, for example, U.S. Army doctrine, um, the, the back brief process. So rehearsing intent, but also making intent clear. There's a card in here called challenge statement that I think is really useful for that. 
but yeah, generally things um, maybe more emphasizing the, the care side of working together to navigate a difficult circumstance. Take responsibility is a great example of that. And I'll share a couple other of my favorites from this deck as well. So in the purpose category, we've got um, one of my favorites is close up shop. And it's basically creating this existential moment where you ask yourself, okay, what what is our place really in the world? What impact do we really have? How do we make it better? But also how do we make it worse? And once you take stock of that, you can use that exploration to find a new purpose or to double down on one that really works for you and re renew and refresh that purpose and that, that clarity of like what we're here to do. I think from the identify category, one of my favorites is seeking specifics. And that's all about basically doing a health check on the different parts of the system, of the situation, right? So what we tell you to do is make a list of all the major parts of your organization. Sometimes, you know, folks think about this like departments and so on. You can think of this as like capabilities in like the Wardley frame of things. But we do include like, you know, how are you delivering value to customers, users, stakeholders? What's the work you do, the practices you follow, technology, knowledge, data, etc. Right? And then once you've got all those parts down, like we want you to break them down even further into smaller parts so you get into those details. And then run a health check. Are each of these parts languishing or are they flourishing? And that lets you know kind of on the spectrum where maybe the problems are, are lying and where maybe you might want to intervene. In the connect category, obviously we've got value chain. It's a really solid introduction to some of the concepts in Wardley mapping. But we've also got one that David, my co-author, really enjoyed writing, which was fog of work. And we worked on these together, but I think he especially liked fog of work. And that one is about starting from sort of your zone in an organization. Can you trace the packets of information and deliverables and so on? coming in and coming out and can you like wander the org by following the value and you can use that to start kind of an exploration or a visualization of what the different parts of the organization are and how things flow and it's really helpful for finding where you are in the organization and so those are just a couple of the cards i really encourage you to check them out if you want to get a 10 percent discount we have a website set up getstrategytactics.com so you can buy it and get a 10% discount and David and I get a commission for leading you to the deck directly. There are a couple other things I'm working on. I'm working on uh, fleshing out and, and expanding some of the courses that I have. Like some of you may know about pragmatic worldly mapping. It's this 75 minute introduction to mapping. It's really straightforward. Hey, here's a really simple process for making your first map and then using a basic strategic thinking process. So it's kind of like Wardley Light. And that's worked for a lot of people. I think there are over about 2,200 people who have signed up for that course and gotten into it and played with it and gotten started mapping using it. So that's really kind of exciting. Um, there's a second course that I have and I'm working to, to improve that and to expand it. It's Wardley Mapping Theory and Practice. And the premise of Wardley Mapping Theory and Practice is that I want to build a video for every single element in Wardley's doctrine tables, climate patterns, plays, all that stuff. I want to build a video for every single one of those. And I've got some, some decent coverage right now on each of those three categories, as well as some um, more advanced introduction material about how to make maps, how to think about making maps, how to adjust maps, and so on. So that's also something I'm working on and building out now. Um, you can get them together, both courses, in a bundle with a one-on-one -on -one call with me. And you can get either any of these courses separately, but you can get those by going to courses.learnwardlymapping.com. And if you've been putting off learning Wardly Mapping and just need an introduction, if you just need um, some one-on-one -on -one time with someone who's done it a lot, or if you wanna get a bundle with all those options, there's an option for you at courses.learnworthymapping.com. I'm also working on something a little bit secret. I think there's a way to teach people how to do worldly mapping in sort of a puzzle game kind of way. Um, and I'm working on that with a good friend of mine, Tyler Wilson. He is a great kind of developer doing a lot of like game development. Uh, this is the kind of thing we're imagining would um, pop up in a browser maybe as part of some course material. We're doing some early exploration. We did a one-week sprint and liked what we found uh, the other week, 
And so if you want to uh, keep in touch about that, if you're curious, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to get you the links to try things out whenever we have something to share. Um, so that's all the kind of stuff that I'm working on. David and I are doing workshops and different kinds of facilitation assistance right now for organizations who need more hands-on support. One of my favorite things we've been doing lately is helping teams design strategy offsites. What are the activities? How do we make it not death by PowerPoint? That kind of thing. Um, so we've been really enjoying that kind of work. And if that would ever be useful to you, just drop me a line at ben at hiredthought.com. Uh, or you can find a contact form for me at hiredthought.com. Uh, if your team is interested in doing a strategy event or creating a refresh in intent and alignment, let me know. Happy to help you. And I've got a whole bag of tricks from strategy tactics and also from a bunch of different materials as well to help develop an experience for you. All right, that's the update. I wanted to thank you so much for being subscribed here. I am so grateful that you're here. If there are things that you would like to see from me around Wardley mapping, around strategy tactics, let me know what your ideas are in the comments. What would be helpful for you at this moment in your life? I would love to help you and I would love to make content that you enjoy and that you find useful. All right, take care, have a lovely day.